Thanks for tuning in to Duckworks. I'm Chris and welcome to what's probably going to be the biggest Lego haul so far, or at least the biggest Lego haul in a single installment. This is the January 1st, 2022 release cycle Lego haul featuring almost every single set that came out at the beginning of the month. There's a lot to get into here and I will be putting timestamps in the description below. If you want to check out only individual themes, I'll be giving my quick thoughts on each of the sets and showcasing all of these sets that I've gotten here right now. And so without further ado, let's just jump right in and take a look. So I do just want to start off by saying there are actually a couple of sets that are missing here, specifically the LEGO City School, the Star Wars Snow Trooper Battle Pack, both of those sets unfortunately were delayed despite me actually placing my order on January 1st. I don't know how that happened, but they got delayed, so I'll have to wait for them, but obviously I have enough to build with already. I wanted to start off by taking a look at some of the free gifts. I got really lucky because the store that I purchased a lot of these from, which was in Dubai, actually went ahead and gave me the Luke Skywalker's lightsaber GWP, which really only is supposed to come with purchases of the $800 Ultimate Collector Series at, -AT. I did already own this GWP. I actually have it built on my shelf right here, as you can see, the Luke Skywalker's lightsaber gift, but it's really awesome to actually get this. Additionally, with the 2022 sets, because who knows, maybe I'll need one for a trade or something like that. It's just nice to have another one because typically you do have to get that massive at, -AT or add-out walker in order to get this set. So with that aside, let's take a look at some of the stuff that's actually new for 2022. This is the LEGO City Kids Playground Poly Bag, which was a free gift with purchase. You can see I got quite a few of these here just by buying city sets. As you can see here, I tried to break up my order of city sets in different chunks so I could get as many different poly bags as I could with these larger road plate system based city sets, specifically because I do like this poly bag and it's always good to have extras of, especially with those nice hair pieces. But setting these aside, there is another free gift poly bag here. This is the Monkey Kids Underwater Journey poly bag. It's probably one of the best poly bags they've done in a while, featuring one of the excellent teal coral pieces, which is really nice to see three of those pieces in a poly bag, plus the new Monkey Kid minifigure with a diving outfit, as well as the printing on the sides of his arms. So really nice to see this in a poly bag. And all in all, just really happy to get that one. I did, however, have to spend around $40 on Ninjago or MK sets to get it, and you'll see that later in the video, because I did have to double some up. This right here is the $85 GWP price point for the Year of the Tiger. I definitely wanted to pick this up because it's a really nice little fun set to get as a free gift that goes along with all their other Lunar New Year sets of the very same style. So very nice to get that, and I certainly will be adding it to my collection. Moving onwards, you can see some more LEGO free gifts. These ones are from the VIP program. You actually had to exchange VIP points to get these on Black Friday, but for whatever reason, they opened it up so people could get multiples. So that's exactly what I did. It is a vintage camera. Not sure what I'm going to do with two. Maybe I'm just going to sell the second one, but it's good to have duplicates. Another free gift that's actually from a few months ago is this set I got from one of the London LEGO stores when I purchased some of the newer sets. It's just a fun little snail poly bag, but it's just nice to have. Moving onwards, we have some art print GWPs. These ones I actually had to exchange VIP points for. This is advertising the Daily Bugle set, which did come out last year, although the art print for the Spider-Man ones are very new as of December 2021. I also managed to get a lot of the Fiat 500 art prints from the VIP center. I actually exchanged my points for these back when during Black Friday, the codes for these went on sale because they are pretty overpriced, but are very, very nice prints to have. I managed to get all seven different art prints, so it's just nice to have these in my collection. Moving onwards though, we can actually take a look at the actual sets themselves. And we're going to be again breaking this up by theme, so do refer to the description for that, starting off with Ninjago. This is the flagship set of the wave, the Ninja Dojo Temple. I did actually do a review on all of the 2022 Ninjago sets, so obviously I talked about those a lot more in depth. If you want to see it, linked in the description below, so do check that out. But obviously I will be just quickly going through all the different Ninjago sets just so you can see them. The Legendary Dragon is another fantastic set from this wave featuring a really interesting body design and shape and of course moving on you can see the dragon itself right here I have him fully built love the way the head is built with the jaw there using the c-bound blade pieces and you also have the action feature you can flap the wings back and forth with the technic pieces here so all in all just a fun dragon to have in general Next up, we have the Ninja Ultra Combo Mech. This is a really, really fun design, a very unique design that actually combines four different Ninja vehicles into one, which you can see right here. And of course, I did the full review on this if you want to check it out. 
Up here we have Jay Ania's Race Car Evo. This is a 50 USD dollar set. And we also have Lloyd's Race Car Evo, a $30 set. So two different race cars for the different ninja here. I actually did get two of these because again, I had to get multiple Ninjago sets just to get the free Monkey Kid gift. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with multiples. Maybe I'll just give them away to friends or whatnot. But this is a poly bag I absolutely wanted to get my hands on because of how good it is. So that's why I had to get a few extra Ninjago sets. Up here we have the 4 plus Lloyd's Ninja Mech, a bit of a meme, but it is a good set for the 4 plus range. We have the two Evo Dragons for Kai and Jay. Very simplified basic dragons, but nice to get for the more introductory price points. And of course two different Zane Power Up Mech Evos as you can see here, which again were purchased to get the Monkey Kid free gift. I actually am a big fan of how the Power Up Mechs turned out in the Evo format here, using the new SCCBS system, which you can actually see in a different video where the LEGO designer behind the Ninjago Core Wave explained its thoughts and reasonings behind the design principles. Of course, that video is also linked in the description below, as well as, again, the review of every single Ninjago January 1st, 2022 Ninjago set, some of which you can see built here. Now, again, you might be asking why I got so many duplicates of all the Ninjago sets. Well, for one, I really like Ninjago, and two, there was a bit of an unforeseen change in my own schedules that caused me to actually have to inadvertently pick up two, if not three copies of all the Ninjago sets, so I'll be figuring out something to do with them at some point. But with that, we have summed up our look at the Ninjago theme, and it's now time to move on to another LEGO action and adventure based theme, although this one is licensed. These are the new Minecraft sets. So for January 1st, 2022, Minecraft has quite a few new releases, starting off with the Rabbit Ranch here, featuring a very nicely brick-built rabbit in the Minecraft style. Really love that we actually get an exclusive skin for the minifigure here too, although the zombie with the cave feels a little repetitive for stuff we've gotten in the past. Moving upwards, we have an adorable Fox Lodge. Unfortunately, the back is not covered here. It's kind of like a facade in the sense that it's just the front of a building. If you turn it around the back, it is fully exposed, but it's still nice to see that as a cute build, as well as the Guardian Battle featuring the return of the Underwater Guardians. The last time we saw these was around 2016 or 17 when we actually got the Guardian theme set. Lastly, we have just a little bit of a creeper ambush here featuring a creeper in mid-explosion, which is a very, very unique print. Really interesting to see that, but otherwise just kind of a basic Minecraft starter set. Over here, we have the Mushroom Forest, or the Mushroom House. This is kind of a house built into a mushroom, which is just like something you would see in-game. Very nice to see this kind of a build, with a skeleton jockey as well. Plus, one of the largest Minecraft sets of the wave. These are the Training Grounds, which are actually ninja-themed. This is actually the minifigure here won the poll for what minifigure to include in the 2022 lineup of Minecraft sets. There was a Facebook poll they ran last year, so this is the result of that figure. With that, let's move on to our next theme, another licensed theme. These are the LEGO Super Mario sets. They kind of have a split wave this year where they have half the wave focusing on the Luigi's Mansion game, as well as the other half focusing on some beach rent stuff. So we'll see a mix of it here. This is kind of the starter set, the Lab and Poltergust, giving you the actual backpack that you need to interact with the other Luigi's Mansion sets. So you do actually have to get that one to interact with the ghosts there. This is the Haunt and Seek set. It's probably one of the largest ones for the Luigi's Mansion sub theme, just another kind of expansion with the Lego Super Mario and Luigi style board game here. And I actually do kind of like the architecture here, it seems like a fun room and mansion to kind of go around and fight the ghosts and whatnot. Also over here, we have some of the beachfront stuff for the regular Mario stuff. So this is the Dory's beachfront featuring just one very nice little creature here. I'm not too, too familiar with Super Mario, so I don't know the names of everything. We also have the Bowser Jr.'s clown car, which I really like because it is a $10 expansion pack, which is one of the only $10 sets that isn't just one of these suits. And we also have the Big Urchin Beach Ride, which has the roller coaster elements in the azure color, which I think is a really nice color to have for the roller coasters. Over here you can see some more different Super Mario sets for the Luigi's Mansion, simply titled Entryway. It's one of the most simple names of one of the sets here. Just the gate to get into the mansion, so it'll be interesting to see these all hooked up in the starter course itself, with a very nice cute ghost dog as well. Of course, Super Mario also has their minifigure-like series or buildable character series. This is actually Series 4 of the LEGO Super Mario Blind Bag Packs, which is one of the best series they've done yet. You can see the Blind Bag Packs right here. This is just an extra sealed one that I picked up on Shop at Home, but you can actually see the entire complete series I managed to pick up right here, featuring all sorts of different unique characters with some fantastic recolors of rare LEGO pieces, like the Super Jumper-esque-like piece or the Action Pose piece in purple, 
We've also got a very cute penguin-like character there and just all sorts of different prints and pieces being used in unique ways for the Super Mario buildable character series. On the topic of blind bags though, let's now take a look at the next blind bag series. This is series 22 of the standard, kind of regular LEGO collectible minifigures featuring a lot of different new figures and characters to collect. I've actually got them all right here with a few duplicates. I actually picked these up at a LEGO store in the UK, which actually very handily placed all the figures in individual bags pre-sorted. So that was very, very convenient, although unfortunately they did make a mistake and give me an extra elf when I wanted an extra spaceman. But honestly, their return rate for everything else was really good, so I'm not really feeling too bad about that. Over here you can see a collection of all the different minifigures in the series. I specifically wanted to get two of the minifigure featuring the new toucan element because I just love collecting Lego animals in general. I also wanted two of the purple classic spaceman torsos because one of these I do plan to convert to be a standard purple classic spaceman. I did want another one so I could have two extras but just one is alright I guess. And then moving onwards we also got a few different minifigures. Love the elves and the forest warriors as well as the troubadour, the singers here as well as a wheelchair person. We've also got two of the brand new full element. This is the first time we're getting a new full in the Lego lineup ever since the Paradisa line in the 80s. We've never gotten a baby horse since then. This is a brand new dual molded component which is fantastic to get. A very very cute element and one I just wanted two of just in case. Lastly, we have a gender swap version of a Series 4 collectible minifigure, the ice skater there. Kind of interesting to see that. And all in all, you can see the series as a whole, one of the strongest non-licensed collectible minifigure series in a while, in my opinion, featuring all sorts of different fun and nice characters. But with that, it's time to take a look at our next LEGO theme. Speaking of original LEGO themes, next up we have LEGO Monkey Kid, which honestly is probably one of, if not the best currently running original LEGO themes pretty much ever. This has an absolutely fantastic range of truly unique and diverse sets from the City of Lanterns here, which is jam-packed with all sorts of references to older LEGO themes and product lines. Stuff like Bionicle and Hero Factory actually do get shoutouts in this particular set, which is really fun to see. Moving on upwards, we have different sets like the Neza's Fire Ring, a very, very unique concept for a set. I really do love this set and I cannot wait to actually build this. Probably going to be one of, if not the first sets that I build out of all of this complete haul. I really do want to see exactly how this fire wheel comes together because it's a very unique concept for a Lego build to have a mono wheel like build. I will say the focus of the set is a little scattered though. I don't think we needed a bone demon throne as well as an enemy vehicle alongside it. I probably would have liked it if they made the set cheaper and just sold the fire wheel by itself, but that's fine. We also have the Maze Dragon Car set. This is probably one of the more standard Monkey Kid sets, but it is still a nice build. I love the shaping of the horse mouth on the front, and it also introduces the brand new LEGO City featured emergency color scheme. You can see the very bright highlighter yellow there, or as LEGO officially calls it, vibrant yellow. We also have the Monkey Kids Galactic Explorer set. This is an amazingly detailed rocket ship. Really, really cool to get this as a Monkey Kid set, and it features some nice transparent red windscreens as well, which definitely will be useful for some Space Police 1 mocks. And of course, moving on from this set, we also have another space-themed Monkey Kid set, Changi's Moon Cake Factory, featuring some very, very adorable bunny mechs and just some very cute minifigures overall. I truly am loving the space theme or sub-theme that Monkey Kid has. Really, really cool and unique, interesting sets and interesting builds. But of course, we also have another evil macaques mech. This is more of a standard mech-style build. Honestly, not one of my favorite mechs to come out of Monkey Kid. I think they've done better mechs, but this one still is a really, really good mech. It's basically a standard Ninjago style of mech, but it's good to get this for one of the main villains of the wave, featuring the brand new macaque minifigure. We did get him before, but not in this style, with his six ears. Beyond that, there's just one final Monkey Kid set. Really nice to get an introductory set for younger builders to just get introduced to the world of Monkey Kid. I really do feel like this is something that Monkey Kid's been missing for a while, is a younger age range themed smaller set to just introduce kids to the concept, featuring again those SCCBS system limbs, which are definitely very interesting to use for a new construction building system. Moving onwards though, it's now time to move on to our next LEGO theme, and with that we can talk about LEGO Marvel. 
So for LEGO Marvel, there's actually only two sets releasing. There were supposed to be five, but unfortunately three of them got delayed till April 1st because of some stability issues. This, however, is the Iron Man figure. It's a very, very interesting set, especially if you are a Constraction and Bionicle fan like me. Is this the future of Constraction? Who knows, I will be doing a completely separate video on this talking about a review, how it compares to other construction builds, so definitely stay tuned if you want to see that video, let me know, and do check that out when it comes out in the future, because I am very, very interested to see if this means we'll be getting more construction style LEGO builds, or even Bionicle-like builds in this kind of style. Moving onwards though, the next Marvel set that we have is tied to the new Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness movie. This next setup here is the Gargantos Showdown set. Included in the set is a new Doctor Strange figure, Wong, as well as the new hero, America Chavez. Very interesting to see that included in the set itself. Although unfortunately, Wanda, who's a main character in the movie, is unfortunately absent. Although we did just get her in the collectible minifig series, so I guess that's why. The set does have a bit of a somewhat illegal technique that does force some strain on the pieces, which is kind of interesting to see, but thankfully they still decided to release the set. Also for Marvel, but not really in the mainline Marvel sets, is this series of 4 plus Spidey and his Amazing Friends sets, based off of a very juniorized web cartoon series introducing very young kids to the world of Spider-Man. This does introduce a lot of new minifigures as well, which is nice to get. Although of course the builds are just 4 plus style builds, so nothing really too too special. They do feature the mid-legs for the Spider-Man minifigures, so very nice to get those. I like getting mid-legs in different colors, so I do appreciate their inclusion. We also get a Rhino minifig for the first time outside of the just main mech Rhino suit. Nice to get that, as well as the Miles Morales Spider-Man in a very cheap set, which I'm sure a lot of fans will be excited to pick up. I'm sure these will prove to be very, very popular. This set in particular, the Spider-Man Techno Trike, is already sold out on Shop at Home, and I had to get a duplicate of it just to review it for this wave because it was delayed in my shipment. Moving onwards though, it's now time to take a look at our next LEGO theme. And going onwards, we have another original LEGO theme, and that is LEGO Creator. So first of all here, we have the fantastic Boutique Hotel in the LEGO Modular Buildings line. This is actually celebrating the anniversary of LEGO Modular Buildings, which of course started off with the Cafe Corner, which was a dual cafe and hotel. So it makes sense they would do a hotel for 2022. And this features some really interesting building techniques to mount studs at an angle. So quite excited to put this together. It is one of the largest sets in this hall and one of the best. Creator also introduced the Majestic Tiger build here, which is a really nice set to get. Probably one of the best LEGO Creator animals we've gotten ever, so really some fantastic LEGO sets to get from Creator right out of the gate. I just love the attention to detail here. Everything is pretty much accurate to what you would see on a real-world tiger, including some anatomical details. Sort of continuing with the LEGO Creator or Extended Line sets, we have a seasonal Valentine Lovebird set, which is very, very cute. I actually picked up a couple of these sets, one to build with a dear friend of mine, as well as some more Brickhead sets. The Brickhead's Pets line is continuing with one set here, the St. Bernard set, and actually there's one more, but surprisingly enough, for whatever reason, this set was delayed in the US. So this pile of parts here is basically a pile of sets that I had to purchase while traveling overseas because they came out pretty much everywhere in the world except for the US. And those sets here are the Brickhead's Pets Puppy and French Bulldog set, surprisingly enough got delayed. We also got some of the Star Wars minifigure packs, these got delayed in the US as well, don't know why that happened, as well as some of the other Brickheads. So the Lego Lion Dance Guy Brickheads got delayed, the Ashoka Tano Star Wars figure, which is very, very sought after, got delayed, as well as the Creator Sunflower set, plus this High Speed Train. It's quite common for this type of extended line sets to get delayed, especially in North America and the US, so I wasn't too too surprised. What did surprise me were the Brickheads. We don't really see those get delayed too too often, but some of these other stuff, it does make sense. But thankfully, very glad they got actually released in some regions of the country that I was able to pick them up to actually have them all here for the 1st of January. That basically sums up the creator and extended line sets, so we can move on to the next theme, the Star Wars theme. We already looked at a few with the Ahsoka Brickheads as well as the Battle Packs, but we also had another set that unfortunately got delayed in my shipment. I had to pick it up in the UK. This is the Hoth ATST. It's a specially detailed ATST specifically for the Hoth region, which is really interesting. We've never actually gotten this alongside an official LEGO set before, but it's nice to get this as an official LEGO build. And you can see here it includes a snowy version of 
Chewbacca, which is adorable, plus an ATSD pilot with some other troops as well. It's a fun build. I do wish it had more articulation. Sadly, we have not really gotten too many ATSDs with full articulation before with LEGO. Maybe sometime in the future, but as it is right now, it's basically what you're going to expect. I showed you the boxes of them earlier, but you can see them fully built here. We get a bit of an expansion pack for clone troopers, which is really fun to get. I love collecting clone troopers, and I just love the Clone Horse era of Star Wars in general, so I definitely wanted to pick these up and got two of the set. We also get a Hoth Rebel Troopers pack, which to me isn't quite as interesting as the clone troopers one, but it is still nice to get them to fight against the Snow Trooper Battle Pack, which I would have if it did not get delayed. So still waiting on that one, but those are definitely intended to go up against them. Lastly, we also have the Razor Crest Mandalorian Microfighter for Star Wars. Not too much I can say about this, other than it's a really great way to get the Mando figure for cheap. But moving on from Star Wars, which had a bit of a smaller wave, we can move on to the next theme. These are the Lunar New Year sets. You can see that the boxes have been removed because, again, I did actually have to purchase these overseas. They got delayed in North America until January 10th, but surprisingly enough, were pushed forwards in pretty much every other region to actually come out before 2022. I got these just right around after Christmas, which is nice to get. This set in particular, the Spring Lantern Festival, is truly amazing. I cannot wait to actually build this one. It's a really, really nice build and you can see the boxes in case you wanted to see them right here alongside some other London exclusives which we'll be covering in a future video. Moving onwards from this theme, we can now take a look at the next LEGO theme because there's still quite a lot to go. This is just one set from LEGO Ideas, it's the new Sonic the Hedgehog set. It's kind of a controversial set because that Eggman figure is not great, and to be honest, it seems to be a bit of a tedious build, a lot of stacking of one by one plates, which is very, very strange because LEGO literally introduced in Minecraft sets this year a stacked one by one plate that's actually two plates tall in a single piece. I don't know why they didn't include it, maybe the designers didn't get the memo that that piece existed, but that's what it is. It would also have halved the piece count, so maybe there's that. Also kind of a one-off theme here, just releasing one set, we have the LEGO Architecture Singapore Skyline set. I really do love Singapore, have a lot of family there, I really do want to go back, and I love the Singapore Skyline, so I cannot wait to build the set. It's a really great representation of the Skyline, although definitely does not use as many unique building techniques as some of the other sets, it still is nice to get. Moving onwards though, we can take a look at our next LEGO theme. So this year, LEGO Friends is celebrating its 10th anniversary, ever since being released in January of 2012. You can see here 10 years of friendship, and so some of the friend sets of this year are truly fantastic. I don't collect a ton of friend sets, but the ones I do are some of the best, and these are, well, some of the best. We get the fantastic Main Street, the Friendship Treehouse, which is a really cool and fun build, the Canal Houseboat, which is just a fun set in general that really could be used outside of LEGO Friends, as well as the Street Food Market. This is a really nice set because it brings together different cultures of foods and just is a very friendly looking set in general, pun absolutely intended. But wait, this is getting out of hand, now there are two of them. Yeah, this is just a mistake. I accidentally ordered two, I'll probably be just returning one because I have no need for two, but that's what it is. Also in this kind of girl-oriented theme line, we have the LEGO Disney Encanto Magical House, which is a really, really nice house to get. I love the design and architecture of this building, and I have a lot of fond memories from watching the movies, so I definitely am very excited to build this set. This is not a new set for 2022, but I just managed to get this in my newest orders. Disney also introduced a few new sets, an Elsa and Anna Frozen set, as well as the Jasmine and Mulan's Adventure. I just like the Molded Tiger and the architecture of this particular set, which is why I picked it up. It's very overpriced though, 176 pieces for like $40. This though introduces a very interesting new element. It is a brand new dress and mini doll holder combo set thing. I'm not really sure exactly what the logic is behind this. You essentially remove the dress and place the upper half of the mini doll inside, but I just wanted to kind of play around with the new pieces. With that though, we can now move on to our next LEGO theme. And that is LEGO Technic. These are licensed under the Monster Jam TV show. Interesting to get these licensed. I love the Monster Jam Megalodon set. This is just such a very interesting LEGO Technic set and a really fun one to get. Introducing a brand new piece, the stud to Technic pin converter piece used for the teeth there with friction. We've needed that piece for years, so nice to get that. These are intended to go up against the other Monster Jam sets. You can see the Gravedigger truck right here, which is one that released earlier in last year, 2021. 
one. Also some interesting recolors and color scheme there, but I think the ones for 2022 are a little bit more interesting and cooler than this. And we also got another one you can see right here is one of the other Monster Jam trucks. They all feature pullback motors, so it's just going to be fun to have the full lineup of this sub-theme of LEGO Technic com fully combined together just to see how they would fare against each other. Also for LEGO Technic, we got a new fantastic 18 plus set. Moving onwards, you can see that set right here. This is the BMW M1000RR motorbike. Absolutely, truly stunning build. This is truly the most detailed motorbike they have ever done for LEGO Technic. Very, very excited to actually build this myself. And you can see here for Technic, we also got a few extra sets. These $50 pullback motor sets like the Formula E Porsche 99X electric race car here. Just a nice build to get in general. I like these realistic style of Technic cars. And we also get another pullback LEGO Technic set. This set right here is the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 in a lime color scheme, which is just a fun build to get in general, although of course the highlight is that 18 plus motorbike. Cannot wait to actually put that one together. But with that, we can now move on to our next LEGO theme. And moving onwards, it's now time to take a look at LEGO City. Personally, I am on a quest to collect every single new LEGO City road plate set. I do know the road plate sets are a little controversial, but to be honest, I really do like them and I like that these sets are all fully modular, which means you can connect them all to each other. And so I got all of the road plate sets from last year, I will be getting all of them from this year, so you can see them all right here, and they are in varying quality. I do want to note that again, the School Day set, which is another road plate set, unfortunately got delayed, so I unfortunately do not have that in this haul. But everything else is here, including the fantastic new hospital. I think this is probably the best road plate set they've ever done for LEGO City. I love the way this looks, it even has a kids section of the hospital, so really great build here. We also get a fun police chase at the bank set. It's just kind of a standard chase set that we would have gotten from LEGO City in the past, but the road plate makes it special, meaning I can combine this with the other set so it's just nice to get that in general. Moving onwards, we have the police station for only $70. It's a bit of a smaller police station than usual, which is actually kind of nice, which means you don't have to spend $100 on a police station. This provides the basically same thing with some unique architecture with a very much cheaper price. We also have the mobile crane set here, which it's a little bit of a stretch to count this as a road blade set. It's just kind of used to move the plates around themselves, but I just wanted to include it because it's a unique vehicle to get in general with a fun color scheme of blue and yellow. We also have the Fire Brigade set. This is a sardine factory lit on fire with the road plates. Very notable for reintroducing the Lego hazmat guy in the keto orange or flame yellowish orange color. Can't wait to get that figure which returns from the collectible minifig series years and years ago. We also get a new kitten mold in this set. They also have these in the firehouse set, which is really, really cute to get. Love the kitten or baby cat mold here, which I cannot wait to actually get multiples of off of bricks and pieces. We also have the fire station set, another road plate set. $70, I think the police station is a little bit better, but this one does have some unique architecture as well as probably the tallest garage, which is nice to get for the fire station builds. Moving onwards, there are a few other LEGO City sets just featuring other stuff. The final road plate set here is just a very small beachfront set, which I think maybe doesn't necessarily make too much sense as a road plate set because I probably would have liked it if they recolored it in tan for the sandy road plate, but I guess it works in the system. I'm very curious to see how these all look together. We also have a very fun set, the Ice Cream Truck Police Chase, introducing the brand new mold of the splat piece used in this case for ice cream. But we also have the mold being used for eggs here. Literally the only reason why I got the police mobile command truck is just to get the egg splat piece because I think it's a really fun piece. Don't know if it'll show up on bricks and pieces, but I just wanted to get it just in case. The egg launcher here, very fun concept for a LEGO City build. Also here for LEGO City, one of the final sets we have here is this very, very nice horse transporter set, which I got for two reasons. Number one, a brand new color of the Lord of the Rings style horse, but a return of the saddle piece in dark brown. We have not gotten that in years and years, and I cannot wait to get so, so many of those off bricks and pieces for my LEGO Castle Black Falcon's army. Finally, we have a Picnic in the Park set. I actually wanted to get a few copies of these because I love the new LEGO Squirrel element. This is new for 2022. It's just a very cozy set. People refer to it as a Squirrel Battle Pack because it includes multiple squirrels as well as acorns. Just look at how adorable that little mold is. 
But with that, we have summed up all of the new LEGO City 2022 sets that I got in this particular release cycle, and we can move on to our next theme. The only set I got from LEGO Dots this release cycle was just the Series 6 Extra Dots pack. I just wanted to pick it up to see what the charms were like. I don't really have much use for it, but I felt like it's interesting to get for new LEGO molds, so I had to pick it up. But that's the only LEGO Dots set I got, at least for this release cycle. And so, with that final set summed up, we have summed up every single brand new LEGO set releasing January 1st, 2022 that I personally chose to pick up. There's a lot of really exciting stuff here, a lot of favorite sets of all time like the Monkey Kid City of Lanterns, the Lunar New Year sets are also fantastic, love the Ninja Dojo Temple, I also am really excited to display all the LEGO City Roadblade sets together. I actually will be putting out a video in the future showcasing every single 2022 Roadblade set together, so stay tuned for that. I am quite excited to put that together, that's actually why I wanted to get all these city sets. And of course Technic is doing fantastic stuff as well, there's the great creator Majestic Tiger, love the Boutique Hotel, a lot of really great stuff to see here, so I have a lot to get building. And I cannot wait to do this, so obviously stay tuned to Duck Breaks for more builds and reviews featuring these, and let me know if you want to see me review any particular theme or set from this particular haul in the comments down below. All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at all of the January 1st, 2022 sets that I got in this haul. As I mentioned, there's actually a few sets that are still being shipped here that I am missing, so I'm looking forward to that, but I definitely seem to have a lot of stuff to get building in the meantime, so I am not too, too worried about those being delayed. I, of course, have a lot to build. Do let me know if you want to see any particular set or theme reviewed in the comments below. Of course, I have already reviewed every single Ninjago January 1st, 2022 set already, so you can check out that review linked in the description below as well. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video, and let me know which sets you have, which sets you want, and which ones are your favorites. Thanks all for tuning in to Duck Break. Stay tuned for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon, as well as many, many more LEGO haul videos. Thanks so much and bye bye for now.